the potential tropical cyclone. So not quite yet pulling the trigger on the words tropical storm. So what is this really potential tropical cyclone? That's where the National Weather Service identifies that disturbance. It's not fully developed. It's not strong enough with those winds up to 45 miles per hour, but they're saying there is that threat, that likely threat that this is going to become a tropical storm within the next 48 hours, basically meaning some of those wind gusts up to uh, 45 miles per hour. What this does, this allows the National Weather Service to issue some of those watches and warnings, which we now have seen issued, especially for Miami. There's that circulation. We're watching this closely. The National Hurricane Hunters have gone in and have identified that it is still too weak to become that tropical storm, but likely going to see that 90% chance of development over the next 48 hours as it's moving northward right around six miles per hour. As it does so and get cl gets closer to the Gulf, that's where we are going to see the potential for it to really strengthen. Here's a look at these tropical storm watches. I mentioned it is in effect the tropical storm watch from Melbourne down through West Palm Beach, including Miami as well as Fort Myers. Now, this is not yet a tropical storm. It doesn't have the name of Alex, but if it strengthens, it will likely. Here's a look at the projected strengthening. You can see through your Friday, 40 miles per hour. Saturday still at 40, so still going to show those winds gusting fairly strong by Sunday morning, reaching up to 45 miles per hour. So we're watching that really closely, and this is a look at how much rain we get th with this system. Heavy rain looks to be the biggest concern from Miami all the way up through Fort Myers, close to Tampa, but this could change. We actually could see some of the heaviest rain even shift a little bit farther to the north or even farther to the south. We're just watching the system become more organized as we head into your Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You see uh, Cuba also going to see some pretty big impacts up to three to five inches possible. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.